Hey guys, it's Stasha Erickson. I hope you're all doing well. Again, apologies for my crazy video quality. Um, my laptop is on the way out. I've had it for like five years and probably recorded a thousand videos on it. So it's not going to last much longer and the camera is getting really but um, anyway, I wanted to first say it's actually been a month already since I made the last video I made, and I promised you guys that I would come in from time to time and um, share with you any interesting articles or things that cross my path spiritually that I thought I wanted to share with all of you. Um, I also just wanted to say thank you to everybody who reached out to me after my last video with messages of support about my upcoming surgeries. Um, Many of my even closest friends didn't even know that I had this life or death accident uh, a couple of years ago. And, um, it was, you know, that's basically I explained to everybody why I hadn't been making content for a long time is that I, uh, my face is paralyzed in, on one side and um, I was very insecure. I broke my two front teeth, never had a gap before, you know, lots of things. And not that I'm a selfish person, but it was very hard for me to look at myself in the mirror for a very long time. Um, <clears throat> but it's okay. I'm past that now, but so many of you have sent me just the most meaningful, loving messages and it just melts my heart. I was hearing back from people that I'd helped seven, eight, nine years ago on a healing ceremony that my husband and I did in France or whatever. And people just, you know, I guess I still made an impression on so many of you after so much time. It, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely my own worst critic, and I don't realize how much I've helped others. So it really, really meant the world to me to hear from all of you. I'm still on Etsy. I'm um, doing all types of ceremonies that I've done before, um, curse removals, spirit attachment removals, um, protection ceremonies, all types of things. And um, I've been mining crystals. I've got some new crystals in the shop. And uh, yeah, lots of stuff going on. Oh, I also wanted to mention in my Etsy store, I just marked down... All of my ceremonies by $25, kind of, I always do a spring sale. So most ceremonies that I do, they're each $125. Um, ceremonies themselves take about 10 days to complete. So I just kind of charge for like $10 a day for my time. And I make these candles from scratch and everything. So they take a little issue. Um, I take a little... Uh, ingredients, not issue, ingredients and stuff like that. But anyway, I marked all my ceremonies down from 125 down to $100. And every single item that I have on Etsy that is shipped, whether they're um, crystals or sage bundles or whatever, um, I put free shipping worldwide on all of my products as well. So it's a pretty big deal because coming from Norway, shipping is really expensive and it takes forever. So if you do order stuff, just be a little patient. But um Anyway, just want to let you guys know I'm um, I still have some more surgeries and and uh, medical stuff coming up, but not so many things right now. So go ahead and, and come to Etsy and get your healing ceremonies or readings or products, whatever you need now. While the sale is going for, it's going to be going for the rest of this month. I also have a coupon code I told you guys about last time. It's still active. It's not. It doesn't have an expiration date, and that is the word word good karma all in caps. Um, and that gives you an additional 30% off. So I'll put that down in the video description below. But let me get to what I'm here to share with you guys about. I know I told you I was going to do one about the Tiger New Year. Um, but something else came up that was even more fascinating. Uh, my husband was the one to find this article. And he shared it with me. And I had just been doing a ceremony for somebody who had lived in Japan before. And I was just talking about Japan. And it's very strange that this thing came up. So anyway, I got to share this with you and I'm going to leave a link to this article below as well. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff. I really have been on uh, Internet and social media and news detox for a couple of years now. And it's helped me immensely. It's kept down my anxiety and panic and everything. But every once in a while, you know, something will cross my path and I really want to share it with you guys. So this video is about in Japan, there is something known as the killing stone. Now, in Japan, this killing stone split open, unleashing the legend of a trapped demon. So let me expand a little bit on this for you. Now, in Japanese mythology, the Sesho Seki is a stone that kills anyone who comes in contact with it. So first, okay, is this just another, like, you know, scary fake news article or whatever? But I did some more research into this 
demon they're talking about. And this is a very, very, very real legend and real belief in Japan that's been going on for centuries. And so this isn't just some random article. It's um, really heavy. So I've been telling you guys how, <clears throat> how often people can be harassed, possessed, and oppressed by demons. And that's one of the main things that I do. The work that I do is removing... Um, that's what I call like a spirit attachment removal. Some people can have like an actual ghost that's attached to them or just a negative entity, but some people can actually have demons attached to them. And it's very scary. They react to people in very different ways. People will find like three claw marks on their body. Um, it's supposed to be a mocking of the Holy Trinity. Um, they'll feel burning sensations on their, their body. Um, there's a lot that goes into it, but I feel like there's a rise and an uptick in demonic activity right now. And that's why I felt really guided to share this video with you guys and also to share my service that I, if you are affected by any type of demonic activity, please come my way and I, and I can help you. So let's get back to the article. Now, the splitting of a rock in Japan has unleashed a storm of superstitions on social media. Legend surrounding the Sesho Seki or Killing Stone says that the boulder houses an evil spirit. On Sunday, the rock was found split open in half in Japan's Nasu, sparking dread and fear among the locals and social media users alike who believed that the splitting portents the escape of the evil spirit. And this just happened. Let me see the date. The date was March 9th, so this happened about a week ago. Now, in Japanese mythology, the Soseki is a stone that kills anyone who comes in contact with it. The stone supposedly houses the spirit of an evil nine-tailed fox who took the form of a beautiful woman named Tamamo Nome and plotted to kill Emperor Toba. After Tamamo Nome was defeated, her spirit is believed to have been trapped inside the show Sei. And I did some more research on this Tamamo Nome, and this is a very scary and very powerful demon. Um, and that's the thing. If people don't believe in stuff like this, it makes it even easier for the demons to get away with what they want. Um, many people don't believe in the devil or whatever. And that's kind of, they always said, there's a saying that the devil's greatest trick was making you believe that he didn't exist. So people really need to educate themselves. Why do you think there is so much darkness in the world right now? Um, this demonic activity and uprising demonic activity has been mostly happening since um, 5G was brought in, the te 5G technology. I have so many videos about this that I made years ago. I explained to people that nanotechnology was basically bringing in like a portal, if you will, that de demons could enter and exit from. So there's a lot more to it. You, I have a playlist on this YouTube channel. If you come on my main channel and you scroll down, there's a, a playlist called The Nude You Need that I made back in several years ago. And I've got a lot of videos about this AI and 5G technology and the, the uh, connection to spirits. Like I'm uh, having a hard time speaking right now. Like I can feel when they don't want me talking about this stuff. But anyway, I did some more research on this. And Mamo Nome was a very, very heavy, very powerful, and very, very scary demon. So there is a lot of truth to this fable. Now, located near the volcanic mountains in Nasu, the stone was registered as a historical site in 1957, according to The Guardian. But visitors to the popular sightseeing spot this weekend were horrified to find that the rock had split open in half. The rope that was once secured around the killing stone was laying on the ground. And why this is so strange is that when this site became a historic site in 1957, which was 60 plus years ago, they blocked off entry and exit to the stone. So there's no human beings that can physically get up to the stone. And how would this happen? How would the rope be removed? How would the rock split? I mean, rocks can split naturally. Uh, and it's near volcanoes and stuff like that. So that could happen from heat, expansion, many things, vibration. But no one is allowed to be up there. So that's why people are most scared about it, because it seems to me like it's almost like the demon itself out and is on, on the move. So um, someone on Twitter that saw it said, I feel like I've seen something that shouldn't be seen. And this person shared a photo of the rock and um, 
and it had like 1.8 million likes. It's funny. The girl who wrote it's named Lillian. That's my middle name. Scary. Um, so there's some photos here that you can see in the article. Um, and you can see that it's just literally split in half and the rope is, mis is, is has been moved. Now, while the incident has left many spooked, sparking conspiracy theories galore, local authorities have pointed out that the stone had a crack and may have split open due to cold weather. Japanese news website Yomiuri Chimbun got in touch with the Nasu Town Tourist Information Center, which confirmed the splitting of the rock and said that it may have cracked because of rain and freezing temperature. Um, it is natural, so it can't be helped, but it's a shame because it's a symbol of the local area, said one local. So many people kind of just passed it off like, okay, it's, it's, it's different, you know, it's definitely something natural, blah, 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 whatever. People are always going to kind of go straight to the most obvious or logical thing, but it, this is probably people who don't believe in this legend. And, um... And it's just, just very, very, very scary that people are not really taking it seriously. And if it has been there, you know, for, for 60 plus years and then and nothing has ever happened and now suddenly this happens, there's definitely something spiritual and significant related to this. So this article isn't about putting people in fear or anything like that. It's really just about educating people that, that demons are real, demonic activity is real. And we have to take it seriously. We have to protect ourselves spiritually. We need to live in the best alignment with ourselves spiritually on every level. And that is the most important thing that we can do to protect ourselves from energy like this. And again, like I said, I have services and ceremonies that I do for people that might be oppressed or suppressed or possessed by demons or be affected by them. And so I have, you know, again, these spirit attachment removal ceremonies. And I also do this protection ritual, which can protect you if you know for a fact that you've been attacked by, you know, dark entities or lower forces, then this ceremony will actually protect you. So... Very interesting article. There's a lot more to it. Check out the link for the article in the description box below and kind of do your own research on um, this demon and this rock and, and see kind of what sparks you when you read it. Okay, guys. Well, that was all I'm here to share today. I had uh, my Norwegian language finals all day yesterday and I have one more day of that tomorrow. It's my oral exam where I have to stand up. We'll snuck on the all the same. So hopefully it will go good. I've gone two years to the school and it's, uh, yeah, yesterday I was tested on basically all two years in one day, <laughs> written and reading and listening and stuff like that. So tomorrow's the final oral exam. And if I pass that, then I'm done with Norwegian school forever. So that is really exciting and it will help me to get a, a better job in the future once my surgeries are over and stuff like that. So sending love and peace and support and prayers to all of you. And um, also for my friend Aida, if you're watching, my Finnish sister, Finnish Norwegian sister, she sent me this beautiful um, olive wood rosary bracelet, and it was from Jerusalem, and I just got it on my love hand around my wrist where my injury was, so just letting you know I'm wearing this, it's keeping me strong and protected, especially when I'm making videos about demons, so thank you again for that, Aida, and to all of you out there, sending love and peace and protection, if you need help, I am here for you, come and um, see me on Etsy, and I'm happy to help you with whatever you need spiritually. Okay, love and peace from Norka, or Hadebra, or Ilskedai, or Bye bye.